Merlin, what are you looking up at the sky for? Is someone coming? No, I was just thinking about the planes. Oh, do you want to ride? I can take you there, no problem. Thanks, but I doubt even you could fly that far. I was thinking of the planes where I grew up, back in my home world. Oh, yeah. I can't fly you all the way there. Sorry. It was sweet of you to have authored. You're very generous. Aw, oh, thanks. Coming from you, that means a lot. Pardon my asking, but you're a manakee, right? We have dragon kind in my world, too, but they're a little different. You have manakees, too? I wonder if we're related. What are they like? I only know two of them. A brother and sister named Nils and Ninian. They could transform into ice dragons and do a few other things, too. I owe them both a great debt. They help me out of a lot of tight spots. Did they use dragon stones to transform? Because I need a dragon stone to transform, you know. I believe they did. Nils mentioned that once, I think. Maybe you really are related. That would be so cool. I wish I could meet them somehow. I mean, I have friends here, but I don't know any other manakeets. And we live for so long, it can get lonely after a while. I hadn't thought about that. You'll outlive all of your human friends. I can see why you'd want a friend who'll live as long as you. Maybe I can figure out some way to introduce you. Yay! I'll do anything to meet more manakeets. What we need is a way for you to come visit my world. I'd be really excited to see you too, Lin. Maybe I could even use my manakeet power to help you somehow. <laughs> You've already been a big help, Tiki. Ah, uh, it's nothing. I'd do anything for you, and I'd bet you'd do the same for me. You've got that right. Thanks for being my friend. Prince Marth, your kingdom is in Arcanea, correct? That's right. I didn't realize you'd heard of it. It's probably coincidence, but there's a land by the same name in my world. It should be at peace right now, but... Your country is at war, right? Yes. The situation is beyond grave. Not only did I lose my own kingdom, but the entire continent is now fighting. So if I want to save my kingdom, I must save all the others as well. That's pretty similar to the War of Shadows. I beg your pardon? Oh, never mind. It just reminds me of something else. The Arcanea of my world had a major war, too. It lasted for years, and there were many deaths. It was so tragic. It looks like you're resolved to fight, but I wonder if that's the best way. War takes such a toll on the people. Are there no peaceful solutions? I often wish there were. But unfortunately, some foes simply cannot be reasoned with. My father fought for Arcanea, and he gave his life. So now it's up to me to carry on that fight. I was born a Prince of Altea, and it was my father's dying wish that I rule. But just because you were born a prince doesn't mean you have to fight. War leads to more war, which leads to more tragedy. It's unending. And even if you survive this battle, you may not survive the next. Even so, Selica, it is my choice to fight. Is there no way to stop you? I can't protect my loved ones by sitting on the sidelines. Nevertheless, you have opened my eyes to a new perspective. I have? Citizens dragged into war have more to lose than their lives. They can lose hope. I must have forgotten that after so much time on the battlefield. We must fight for now, but I will keep the importance of peace in mind. It makes me happy to hear you say that, Marth. And to know that someone like you believes peace after war is possible. I may not have much to offer, but at the very least, allow me to pray for your safety and that you achieve your goals. Thank you, Selica. I'll do my best to see that your prayers are answered. Lady Minerva, have you been maybe fighting a little recklessly lately? I'm sorry if I worry you, Sakura. I can get carried away when I'm on the battlefield. You don't have to do so much when you have friends to support you. Though, to be fair, I'm not sure how dependable I am personally. Don't sell yourself short. When you're nearby, I can fight with confidence. Whenever I'm with you, thoughts of my little sister Maria are not far from mind. Maria? What's she like? She's an adorable girl, just like you. Seeing her always filled me with courage. But my brother Michaelis handed her over to an enemy kingdom as a hostage. Oh no! I I'm so sorry! 
I have to get back to rescue her as soon as I can. I worry she's wondering why I haven't shown up. Maybe she thinks I forgot her. Thoughts like that make me restless and impatient. And that comes out in battle. I'm sure Maria doesn't think those things about you, Minerva. Is that so? What makes you say that? Even if I was in trouble, I could never hold feelings like that against someone I love. But... Uh... I think Maria is probably patiently waiting for you. She must miss But more than that, she's probably hoping you're safe. Don't you think? She'd be sad if she knew you were hurt. Even sadder than she is missing you. Thank you, Princess Sakura. You're right. So then, do you think you could maybe be a little less reckless on the battlefield? I want to make sure you rescue Maria, so you can't get injured before then. I understand, Sakura. I will try. For you, and for Maria. Oh, Miss Minerva. Thank you. No, it is I who should be thanking you. Your concern for my well-being helped me realize what's at stake for me here. Good. That's the best I can hope for. So I'm happy to help, and to be able to hear your story. <laughs> you are too kind. I promise to be less reckless and to lean on my friends more. And, of course, I will be depending on you as well. I'll give every ounce of strength I can, if it'll be any help at all. I just hope I'll be able to approach your level of contribution. An ally who soothes wounds and hearts. Matching your worth would be a feat. Let's both do what we can. Yes. As we're in this together, let's have each other's backs. Um, this bit goes here, and then... Ugh! It's all undone. How in the world? Ooh, looks like this little miss is in distress. Do you not know how to fasten a cloak? Niles? Where did you... I do too know how to fasten a cloak! It's these damned Aetolesian cloaks! They're different from ones in my world! Oh, of course! It definitely isn't that you haven't got your servants here to help. I did have people take care of me in the palace, it's true. But that... Ah, uh ah, -uh, no buts. I can't stand spoiled brats with no understanding of hardship. You're the daughter of that famous Pontifex, right? You must be so proud. It's only natural to feel pride in one's parents. Are you saying you don't? Do you mean the father who left before I was born? Or the mother who left after? I suppose I could find something to admire in a well-executed escape plan. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't realize you'd lost your family. You've been alone longer than I have. Alone? How do you mean? Well, without your parents. I know that I was filled with joy as a child, but... Garnef killed my father and turned my world upside down. I couldn't stop him. Oh. I tried, of course, but I was no match for him. It took all I had just to escape. I lost my home, my family, my friends, everything. It was hard. I dressed as a man to conceal myself. The things I did to stay hidden. So, I know perfectly well how to fasten a cloak, okay? I get it. I suppose I should take back what I said earlier. You know, I may have misjudged you too. You're not all sass and belittling people. You can understand the pain that others feel. Even if you hide it. <laughs> no, I just can't live with having made a mistake and not correcting it. Well, if you insist, we can leave it at that. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, it's not that it's funny. It's just... I suppose when I see you in battle, I feel this desire to protect you. Even though I didn't know, I think it's because we've both lost our parents. Ah, huh. then I guess my instinct to protect you wasn't misguided either. What do you mean? You aren't some delicate flower who has never known suffering. You've beaten it. To make up for the horrible things I said, I'll protect you on the battlefield. Then I'll use my magic to keep you safe as well, Niles. We'll be unstoppable! <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Ho, oh, Navarre! Do you have a moment? I witnessed you in battle. Your swordsmanship reminds me of that of my father, King Sumeragi. I see. So your father was a swordsman as well. Tell me, 
Whose skills are greater? Yours or your father's? Well, everything I know, I learned from him. And there were things he didn't teach me. Strategy, special tactics, and more. Then he is stronger than even the great Ryoma. I would like to challenge him. If he were alive, I'm sure he would accept your challenge. So he is no longer with us. A shame. Yes. He fell victim to cowardly political treason and lost his life. But his legacy lives on in the great kingdom of Hoshido. It is interesting that you compare me to him. I feel we're nothing alike. For instance, I am a skeptic. I would never succumb to a treasonous plot. And the idea of leaving a legacy behind after my death is... ridiculous. But you are alike in your tireless pursuit of strength. In that regard, I stand by my assessment that you are, in fact, quite similar. But I suppose your character is different, even if you possess similar drive. That's exactly right. Your father sought power in order to strengthen himself as a leader. I, on the other hand, am merely a killer. A hired sword. I only push myself to greater heights in order to kill more efficiently. Are you saying you have no aspirations? Nothing to strive for but strength? That pretty much sums it up. I see. You must understand. You needn't rely completely on your sword. I, on the other hand, walk a shadowy path. The sword is my only light. I think you're selling yourself short. You are capable of more. And I think you know it. You've carved a path with your sword. Now is the time to explore beyond it. No. All I have is my sword. You have the power to impact the world in other ways. I lack this. Your words say one thing, but your actions speak louder. I know some of your history. I know you have a sense of justice. No ordinary assassin would have done the things you've done. Trust me. Out of respect, I will consider your words. Perhaps there is something there. Thank you, Navar. That is all that I ask. Pardon me, Prince Marth. Let me clean that up. Oh, very well. Actually, I was going to get that eventually. Oh, I don't mind. This is the sort of work I handle, my lord. Are you sure? I don't want to get used to having others do work for me. I see. But did your former retainers not handle these sorts of things? Why would you assume that? Pardon me if I've offended you, but is that not what retainers are for? Surely you were surrounded by capable and trustworthy ones. Yes, yes, of course. But they were talented knights, not mere servants. Jagan, my guardian, Abel with his steady hand, and Cain, what a temper on him. I owe a great deal to all of them. Do you speak of the Bull and the Panther? Those names are legend in my time. To think I never connected them to you. As a retainer myself, I was raised on stories of their craft and service. That is comforting to hear. They are all deserving of such honor. But you, Frederick, are just as talented and dependable as they. And your relationship with Lord Crom is a model of harmony and respect. My lord, I'm honored. Truly, such praise coming from you. Your kind heart knows no limit. The Bull and the Panther are lucky to have you. I admit I'm a bit jealous that you and Crom are united here. Yes, I suppose I am quite lucky. My lord, in the absence of your retainers, perhaps you would allow me to serve. My first duty is still to Crom, of course, but maybe I could be of some help. Thank you, Frederick. I would be foolish to turn down such an offer. Mind you, I don't require anyone to hold my hand. But I am pleased to know I can rely on your strength and courage. Of course, my lord. My arm is yours. There is one condition, however. You must allow me to do something in return. Perhaps I could help with your work, or fight by your side on the battlefield. Not as your master, but as a friend walking the same path. Thank you, my lord. As you said earlier, I would be foolish to turn down such an offer. You can count on my support going forward, as a friend. Very well. With our combined strength, we shall overcome anything in our path. Indeed. Onward, my lord. I mean, Marth. May I call you Marth? Every time I see you, Anna, you're hard at work. Don't you ever take a day off? Don't worry about me, Sita. I can take care of myself. Even if I had free time, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Oh, I thought you would have a boyfriend or something. 
A boyfriend? Why would you think that? I guess because, well, the Anna I know in my world has a boyfriend, so I just figured you had one too. Interesting. Have you ever met this boyfriend? <laughs> yes. His name is Jake. Actually, he was a soldier in our enemy's forces. Oh! Did you have to fight him? Not at all. In fact, he's a pacifist and was a conscientious objector at the time. I thought he might like Anna, so I did a little matchmaking. I have something of a magic touch when it comes to matters of the heart. He sounds pretty great. I wish you introduced him to me first. <laughs> I'm not sure your sister would have liked that very much. But I guess it shouldn't be a surprise to me that you have the same taste. Oh, we probably do, don't we? <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. Is there anyone in this world you've had your eye on? Huh? My eye? Uh, not really. Work keeps me pretty busy, so... Oh, come on, Anna. There has to be someone you're interested in. There's not. And I'll have you know, Sita, that that's just fine with me. Don't be so defensive. I'm curious, that's all. I had no idea you were such a busybody. Fine, I'll admit it. I wouldn't mind a little romance, I suppose. If that's the case, then maybe you could start by working a little less. Now you lost me. Anna, you're bright and clever, not to mention very pretty. You're a catch. And this has what to do with my work? I bet men throw themselves at you all the time and you don't even notice. You really think so? Well, I guess I'll start paying more attention then. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I'm so excited for you. With all this war going on, I had no idea how much I needed a little intrigue. So you're all right with me coming to you for dating advice, maybe? All right with it? I love that! I just used the word dating. <laughs> Weird. Good morning, Robin. Robin, wake up! I have to talk to you about something really important. Chrome. Next battle, I'll... Um... Well, not that important, I guess. It's about our powers. Chrome, no! Robin, it's me, Tiki. Are you okay? I must live... alongside... Oh, Robin, you're sweating like crazy. And you're so pale. Why did this happen to me? It's just a dream, Robin. It's just a dream. Wake up. Please wake up. Uh, uh, Tiki, what are you... what's going on? Shh, shh. It was just a dream. Shh. You had me worry there for a second. Oh. Yeah, I must have overslept. Thanks for waking me up. You were talking in your sleep just now. Something about Crom. No matter how many times I have this dream, I can't recall details. Really? That happens to me too. In my dreams, I turn into an uncontrollable monster that attacks all my friends. The next thing I know, I wake up to the sound of my voice screaming, DON'T! Those dreams sound awful. They are. I barely ever sleep because I'm always afraid it'll happen again. Me too. I've had this nightmare many times. Hey, that's another thing we have in common. Actually, that's what I came here to talk to you about. Oh? What else do you think we have in common? Well, I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I've known you for a really long time. That maybe our powers are linked. That's funny. I've had the same feeling about you. Like we're kind of the same, but also completely different. <laughs> exactly! Whatever this force is that's binding us, it's pretty special. It is. Hey, talking to you has made me forget all about that nightmare. I bet if we stick together, our nightmares don't stand a chance. Yeah, tell me the next time you want to take a nap. I'll keep those bad dreams away. I'll do that. And of course I'd be happy to return the favor. I'm loving this plan. 
I have a feeling we have a lot of good dreams in our future. Me too, Robin. 